When Fabian Spade de Bora ran across Interstate 5 near his Boyle Heights home in Los Angeles, he was hallucinating, paranoid, high on methamphetamine, convinced the cops were chasing him. He ran from the demons, addiction, abandonment, neglect, domestic violence, and gang affiliation. He ran from the angels, his wife, his children, his mother. He ran from himself, a lost soul, seeing no salvation in the hell that had become his life. He had lived a life of selling drugs and dodging bullets, and now it had caught up to him. As he ran, however, the windfall from a passing truck seemed to lift and carry him to the safety of the center divider. He looked for the police helicopter, but there was none. He looked up into the sun's light and realized he'd been given a second chance. That was July 28, 2006. On August 1st, he entered rehab. Six months later, he made his way back to a man he'd met when he was just 10 years old, who had, even then, offered him a safe haven from gang-banging and a life that would surely lead to either prison or death. It was at Homeboy Industries where Deborah's life as an artist and a saved soul began, with the compassion showed him by Father Greg Boyle, or Father G, as he is known around the barrio. Boyle urged Devora to pick up a paintbrush to revive the artistic talent that had lain dormant too long. Where once his canvas had been the Los Angeles River Basin for graffiti, now his profound work was being exhibited worldwide. His mural, Lost Angels, was even painted on a street wall in Rome. During these seven years of sobriety, Devora has become a rising star, not only as an artist, but as a mentor and father to his five children. Devora became a state-certified drug counselor and oversees the Drug Counseling Services Program at Homeboy by day and works on his art by night. His vision is to launch Homeboy Industries Art Academy. For now, his paintings hang on the walls of Home Girl Cafe, where he is known as a resident artist, but he sees far beyond any walls and limitations. His memories of that day, when he clung to life on the center divider on Interstate 5, still ground him. He no longer runs. He's found his salvation and art and at Homeboy Industries. He is the voice of his community and a symbol of change and hope.